Hello everybody, I'm HBL from HBL TV and welcome back to a new video. Now if you've read the title, you know today we're going to be doing another Dr. Phil video. Today's video is about a 20 year old man child and his mom is bringing him on the show for being a 20 year old man child. Give me my keys! Why the f you even take my keys? Because Get in your f yard! Get Why are you so possessive? Yeah. Right off the bat, this is already terrible. Why are you so possessive? Said the guy who's screaming about his keys. Well, Amy, that was your 20-year-old son, Jai, screaming at you at the top of his lungs. He behaves like that every single day, yet you spoil and coddle him like a baby, true? Yes. He knows no boundaries. No. He knows no discipline. I don't know why they always do this. They talk about adults like they're children. And yeah, I know he said he's a man-child, but he's an adult. Just kick him out. It's not like he's a teenager. I want you to tell me if this is a normal interaction between you and your son. I don't want you at the house. I want you to be out doing something. All right, well, do Dr. Not. Phil's going to put you on blast, so be ready. Yeah, watch what you say. Dr. Phil's going to put you on blast for nicely asking your son to please go out and get a job. He's going to put us both on blast, so just be ready. So this guy knows what's up. He knows what's going to happen. He knows that thousands of people are going to see this, and people like me are going to make videos about it. Like, Mom, I need you to not embarrass me. We're going to be on the Dr. Phil show, and a lot of people are going to see this, and don't make me look like an idiot, Mom! You've already made yourself look like an idiot, so... So what do you want to do with your life? Play video games forever? And that's not a career? <laughs> Where is that getting you? See? Right here, officer. This one, you, you, you want to know what she does to piss me off? Be herself. Yeah, guys, this, this is the shit I gotta deal with. My mom nicely asking me to do something with my life. I can't stand that shit. I love how he's acting like he's the one who's irrational. He's like, guys, are you seeing this? My mom's crazy. The, that's just the simplest, straightforward answer I can give you. All she has to do is be herself. Can't even she'll just, a she'll just cry. <laughs> yeah, you can't have a all these people can have rational conversations with me. Yeah, all these people can have a rational conversation with me because they're not asking me to do something with my life. They're not asking me to be productive. Therefore, I have no reason to yell at them. Why can't you? Why are you getting so mad when I'm just Why saying are you, getting you need so to get your hurt? education and a job? Why are you getting so hurt, fam? <laughs> he just called his mom fam. I mean, to be fair, he's technically right. She is his family. He's an adult. Now, I don't know about you, but at my house, 18 was checkout time. Yeah! Yeet him out of the house. Yeet him out of the house. It doesn't have that much of a ring to it, but you get my point. The biggest struggle I have is I feel sorry for him. He's been through a lot in his short life. He has abandonment issues with his father. Um, you know, he's, he's struggled and, and had mental illness for his whole life. And this goes back to age 11. Depression, anxiety, ADHD. Depression, anxiety, ADHD. Now the thing with his dad, I understand. I am sympathetic to that. But all the other stuff, depression, anxiety, most teenagers go through that stuff. I'm depressed, I have anxiety, and nowadays a lot more people are being diagnosed with ADHD. ADHD means you're very hyper and you have issues focusing. It does not stop you from being a rational human being. Guys, uh, just warning you, I'm gonna be a huge asshole, but it's okay because I have ADHD. Now that video isn't over, but I've had enough of that. Let's hear more of his side of the story. I also had a girlfriend. We broke up like right in the middle of my sickness. Wait, wait, wait a minute. That's... That's his girlfriend? She looks twice his age. If I had to guess who she was, I'd say she's like his aunt or something. Also, why does she look like Mr. Beast? You don't appreciate that I'm not working? Kick me out. You don't appreciate that I'm not going to school? Kick me out. Oh look, even he's saying what I said. Kick him out of the house. Maybe you should just kick him out. I know this is the 15th time I've said it, but you should. Why won't you do it? It's simple. Parents do it every day. I'm 20. You think I'm a scrub? Kick me out. If you don't want to live with her, pack it up. Take off. Yeah. He's like, yeah. But he's not actually going to do it. And the reason he said that is because he knows she's not going to kick him out. He would be screwed if she kicked him out. You know, for someone who has a very large head, he doesn't seem very smart. 
That's what I want to do, but she just thinks every decision I make in my life is irrational and too quick. Well, it kind of is. You're a druggie, you're not going to school, you don't have a job. From what I've heard, you sit on your ass all day and do nothing. It's pretty irrational. But you don't need her permission. I you're don't need her permission, but it's just like... There's it's no just, but. You don't need yeah. her permission. Exactly. You're right. He's just yesing Dr. Phil. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I know I don't need her permission to leave, but I'm not going to leave because then I'd be homeless. Yeah. I mean, problem solved. You're not, you don't have to be with her anymore. You don't have to listen to her nagging. You can, you can put on your gangster outfit and you can haul ass. He's definitely stoned right now. Do you see like the look on his face? The just, he's totally stoned. <laughs> you can haul ass and go to New Mexico. You hear him coughing? That's the weed. They don't do drug tests on these shows. But I mean, you can do what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, but I think you're, let me tell you, you do show a fair amount of insight. You really do. You recognize that you're self-medicating. You recognize that she's helicoptering you. You recognize that you've not had a strong male influence. You recognize that you're creating a, a false image on the internet. That doesn't make him smart. Yes, he's observant of what's around him. This guy's so stupid that they're really just lowballing it. Dr. Phil's giving him anything he can. Well, uh, you don't have a job, you don't go to school, but you recognize that what you're doing is shitty. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Moral of the story, just yeet your kids out of the house. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Make it make sense, make it make sense, I Can't hide a heart in the black tent, I You were off the bullshit